Tonight we're hearing from former Jones County coroner Jerry Bridges for the first time since his arrest and resignation. Bridges is accused of spending money that was supposed to be saved to care for the cemetery he owns, along with money people paid in advance for funeral services. Raymond Tubb talked with Bridges at the cemetery that he owns. Raymond, what does he have to say about these legal problems right now? Well, his charges include 22 counts of theft by conversion and two counts for misusing money for prepaid funerals. They are tied to the Bridges funeral home during the time that he owned it in Cedar Ridge Cemetery, which he still operates. We caught up with Jerry Bridges at that cemetery while he was taking care of the grounds there. I still take care of the cemetery. Always will. Until I die. <laughs> On Friday, Jerry Bridges was doing just that at Cedar Ridge Cemetery overseeing mowing and the removal of a huge oak tree taken down by lightning. His legal troubles center on the account that was supposed to pay for the cemetery's upkeep and payments made for future funerals and tombstones. You know what the problem is? What's that? I've been using it because when you don't sell lots, it cost me right at $1,000 to get a company to come in and cut the grass. And uh, so I've been, I've been doing it myself and, uh, and doing all that. And that's what the situation is. So they cost more to do the care than what the perpetual care account would, would... Perpetual care is perpetual care. I have to use it. Meaning each plot here is supposed to be kept up forever, with interest generated from the money set aside each time a plot is sold. In Bridges' case, investigators can't even find the accounts that should be keeping up the perpetual care clients bought. As for the prepaid funerals and tombstones people paid for over the past few decades... I don't have anything to do with that. Uh, my attorney's handed that, but as I tell you, everybody that's had a prepaid funeral and I service a contract. Bridges points out that members of his own family are buried here, including his parents and daughter. He vows to keep it up. As for the unanswered questions, my day will be in court. Bridges continues to collect fees for the services that are provided at the cemetery, like digging graves and covering them back up. Local funeral home tells us that they paid Cedar Ridge Cemetery more than $1,000 to do both of those since his arrest. While Bridges insists that he's done nothing wrong, Jones County investigators and a state regulatory board say that there is still no sign of the perpetual care fund and other accounts, which by law should contain the money for the cemetery care, prepaid funerals and services. All right, Raymond, thanks very much. The next step is for the case to go to the grand jury. Jones County Sheriff Butch Reese says he expects more charges because more possible victims keep coming forward, according to the sheriff.